This is lazy German because the laziest methods are most effective. Let's talk about articles. In English, the is all we get. The, the, you could pronounce it, that's it. In German, you get three different thes. You get der, die, and das. These are just articles, they mean the, that's the end. Der, die, das. They are called masculine, feminine, and neuter. So der is masculine, D is feminine, das is neuter. Got it? Good, move on. This is sim very similar to Spanish where you have L, which is masculine, and la, which is feminine. Ta-da, we're done. Okay, every noun uh, in that you'll learn in German is always paired up with masculine, feminine, or neuter articles forever. It's just, that's just how it is. You learn a noun, you also learn its article and you memorize that. I don't know how, eventually you'll be able to hear it and it will sound wrong and you'll be able to correct yourself. But just know that there, for every noun, there's always an article that's paired up with it for forever, no matter what tense of the sentence you're in, no matter past tense, future tense, uh, predicate nominative, direct object, none of that matters. It's always paired up with masculine, feminine, or neuter. So when you learn a word, learn its article as well.